Charlie would be nine and a half. A big swing. We went to the Twins game last night and we watched Cleveland beat the Twins. So depressing. But it's still a good fun time. A good anniversary present. Kevin and I uh, decided that's how we would celebrate our anniversary. Going to the Twins game. Which is totally fine. We've only gone once this season. So this is our second time and it was very exciting. We got really good seats. The only problem was uh, it's hard to explain where we were, but we were so close to the field and we saw a lot of action, but it was also super noisy and right by a bar and it was kind of hard to hear. And then you couldn't hear the, uh, the, um, announcers or the different things or clap your hands or, you know, the different songs when the players would come out and they'd, uh, be batting and whatnot. So that was kind of frustrating. Um, and then... I think because you're so close to the field and it's not a lot of stairs like in the nosebleeds you have a ton of stairs you got to go up and down up and down so people I think really pick and choose when they're gonna go get up and get a snack or go to the bathroom but in uh, the ground level totally different down there people are like oh I gotta go to the bathroom oh I need a drink oh I need this oh I need that so there was a lot of traffic going back and forth I was frustrating but now it's Saturday, and we visited with my mom and dad and Rachel and Marissa a little bit. Oops, I'm locking Kevin out of the car. And then we are traveling home in St. Cloud. Uh, we stopped to go to Bonanza. Kevin introduced me to this Bonanza. It's like a uh, buffet. It was uh, delicious. It's kind of spendy, though, for the quality of food, in my humble opinion. But we're both super full now, super stuffed, and we stopped by the Taco Bell so I could pick up, oh gosh, I'm spilling myself, a cherry, what is that, cherry bomb, cherry sunset, something like that. Sunset. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> it tastes good. It's got like, um, like a poppy fizzy. And then if you go down to the bottom of it, there's this cherry sauce. You gotta try it, Kevin. This cherry sauce, so it tastes like a maraschino cherry sauce of some kind so it helps when you get the yellow with the cherry because otherwise that's very sweet that cherry sauce but anyway now we're on our way to Chrissy's and we're gonna say hi to Chrissy for five minutes she made a homemade gift for me and uh, it's very special that she would even think of me I'm going through kind of a rough time um, the last week here and so she made me a little sweet homemade gift yeah it's not Kevin's fault it's not this time <laughs> Not this time. We're going to go get that and then we're going to head home. See my little boys. Haven't seen them since last night after school. Hope they're being good. And then I'm going to take a long nap or go to bed early because I'm exhausted. See you later. Okay. I just wanted to show you guys this really cool water or I suppose you could put juice or any liquid in there. Decanter. My mom decided... It did not work for her needs, so she got it um, and asked if I wanted to have it. Uh, ignore the mess. That is my bedside table. But um, it's really cute. I don't know if you can see it in this light, but it says Main Street Glass, I'm sorry, Glass Company. And I just put a bunch of water in it. Nice cold water. But here, this is the cool part. It has this cup on the top. Just a glass cup. That works as the cover for the decanter. And I just thought about it. I can use this and I can pour when I'm thirsty. Excuse me. A little sip of water in there or a big sip of water. 
and then I can just drink it. And when I'm done, I can put the cap back on so nothing gets in my water. How cool is that? I love it. Thanks, Mom. So today's Sunday, and it's kind of dreary, and the sun is not out. It's kind of cooler. I like the weather, but I got a lot of things on my mind today. I had a lot of deep conversations with my sister, Rachel. We talked, gosh, I think it was three and a half hours last night on the phone, and uh, I'm not much of a phone person, so it's been a long time since I've been on the phone. <laughs> usually I text so but it was a really good conversation and we had a lot of um, a lot of things to say a lot of deep conversation um, just about some stuff going on in our family um, and uh, how we're dealing with that and uh, so that was really good and then stayed up late again last night now it's Sunday and I uh, got a lot of stuff done I was able to color my hair. I did my nails for the week and I did some perfectly posh uh, face mask and I did uh, well, I did the cleanser and the face mask and the lotion so I look like I'm glowy and looks beautiful. Um, and then I went shopping for groceries so the kids could have after school snacks and um, if they decide to not eat hot lunch, then I've got some food for them for lunch. And you can see the neighbor kid riding his bike. That's funny. I think he's hoping that Lydia, my stepdaughter, comes out to play. Uh, well, it's not raining yet, so it'd be perfect timing. Um, got to get some more laundry done, and I clean the house. So I've been really busy today on Sunday, which is good. Keeping my mind busy. Um, keeping my mind off of some things that are heavy on my heart. Um, things I can't really talk about uh, publicly right now. Probably will be able to at a later date and time. But uh, just kind of feeling sad about uh, some things going on and some changes in my life. And not sure how I'm going to go about the change. But we'll see. Now I'm going to try and make dinner. I was thinking meatloaf, but we'll see how that pans out. She's sitting in my car for a couple of minutes and the kids all wonder what I'm doing. That's the second kid that's come out wondering what I'm doing out in the car. Like, I'm just having a moment. I'm just uh, talking <laughs> for just a little conversation here. But, well, anyway. Um, so, yeah. So, I got a lot of stuff done. I'm going to go and make some dinner. Maybe some meatloaf. Uh, that sounds good. Or, I don't know. Maybe I'll try and get creative with something. I told my friend Sarah... Um, my bestie at work that we should try to wake up earlier than we normally do we should try getting our hair done in the morning and putting makeup on for work and see uh, if anyone noticed I'm sure a lot of people would notice but I almost feel like you go so long without wearing much makeup and then um, you do it for special occasions so then when you do wear makeup you start to and then people probably wonder what's going on with you and why you're wearing makeup and you know I'm I'm uh, not much for people asking uh, me a lot of questions. In my older ages, I just want people not to notice things that change about me. <laughs> so funny, back when you're a teenager and that's all you hope for is uh, you get a haircut or your new shirt or whatever, and you just hope that one of your friend notices or says something and gives you that attention. And then um, as you grow and get older, now in my 40s, I really don't want <laughs> any attention if I get a haircut. I mean, it's nice that people compliment you, but you almost wish they, they wouldn't notice and they wouldn't say anything. But, um, or you get a new blouse or you get a new something. For me, I just don't want to draw attention to myself, so I almost hope people don't say anything. But anyway... So that's what I told her we should do. And she said uh, she was not sure that she could pull it off except for the days when she comes in late. <laughs> so that's funny. And then I said I probably won't be able to do it until or I'll set my alarm to get up sooner. And then I'll end up not waking up and hitting snooze. And then I'll be like, oh, forget it. <laughs> right now I'm at the point in my life where uh, school has started and it's easier for me to 
shower the night before so I can get up and concentrate on getting the boys up and getting them out the door and making coffee. So that's pretty much all the time I do allow for myself in the morning. Get some clothes on. Really easy to pick out. I wear scrubs every day and then make coffee. So we'll see. We'll see if I can do it without hitting snooze. Wish me luck. Oh, and then I wanted to show you guys what Chrissy, my daughter, made for me. This lovely decorative piece, a bottle with sage and rosemary and um, there's some jewel in there and she put some other stuff in there too. It's kind of hard to see through the bottle. That's okay though, just the very thought of it being um, some goodies in there. And then I am supposed to melt some candle wax on the top of it. That'll be even cooler. And then it comes with this um, little poem that she said that you kind of say out loud and it says in this moment strength I find to inspire a healthier and happier mind I call to my angels for guide and support so that I can grow stronger instead of falling short and then uh, you would have to envision a time when you were feeling confident and uh, and that kind of cool is something that she does something I've not tried before and I definitely think it's beautiful and lovely that she thought about me. And she knows kind of some hard stuff I'm going through. I am just coming around to the back of my car so you can see the sticker I got. It's kind of a decal. Sorry for the glare on the uh, window there. But it says Girl Boss if you can see it. I've got that at my back of my uh, back window but on the plastic part in the back so that it doesn't interfere with my brake light or my glass and driving. And I just thought it was cool. I love it. So I thought I'd show you my posh, perfectly posh girl boss sticker. <laughs>